Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our English class. This is Elias Al Hariri from the Palestinian School in Qatar. Today we have grade 9, unit 13, good news from the hospital. So today we have unit unit 13, periods 8 and 9, and we have the pages 71 and 72. So let's start our lesson grammar lesson and let's continue our lesson about reported speech we talk in period number three about statement and request while in this period we will talk about wh question and yes no question so let's start with a reported speech but before that let me remind you about changing the pronoun so if we have I in the sentence we change it to he or she according to the speaker and if we have me we change it to him and her my change it to his her when we have when we change it to they us them our there and also when we have you and it the you comes before the verb we put I he she they we and when you comes after the verb we change it to me him her them and us and here we have two examples we took it in exercise number three i play tennis ahmed says ahmed says that he plays tennis my dad is a doctor sarah says sarah says that her dad is a doctor now let's come to wh question what i want you to focus with me everyone on this table on this box all these are wh questions where when why what who and how and always when we have a direct question we always we need to put the helping verb after the wh questions wh words for example you can say where is when is why is what is who is how is where did why can why do who do how can okay now we have this question where is my father Omar asks we can change it like this Omar asks we put it at the beginning with the words WH word we keep it as it is we don't change it and here when we report the sentence to report the speech we change the place of the verb so here the verb always comes after the wh word we put the is after the subject his father is Omar asks where his father is so we change my to his we change my to his and we put the verb after the subject Another example, what is your name? The teacher asks me. The teacher asks me what my name is. The teacher asks Omar what his name is. The teacher asks Mona what her name is. Okay? Another example, what is your name? The same example, but here Omar asks, Omar wants me or Omar wants to know what my name is. When we have WH question, we can but ask, we can but want to know. Okay? Now, when we have yes no question, for example, is your father a doctor? This is a question, start with WH, uh, start with a uh, helping verb. Is your father a doctor? The teacher asks me. So we can say the teacher asks me if or whether my father is a doctor when we have yes no question we but or we use if and whether in the sentence one of them but when we have yes no wh question we keep the wh word in the in the reported speech but when we have yes no question we but if or whether the teacher asks me if my father is a doctor now everyone let me explain for you some something look here i play tennis 
this is a sentence I play tennis now if you want to change to negative what do we do we put not but we cannot put not alone we have to put helping verb with not it becomes like I don't play tennis so do is not from the original sentence the original sentence is I play tennis we don't have do here I don't play tennis do is not from the main verb we put it to change the negative only do you play tennis we put do to change to negative to question because because we don't have helping verb in the sentence to change the question do you play tennis salim asks me change it to report speech salim asks me if or whether i play tennis this is the original sentence salim asked me if i play tennis so when we report the yes no question and the question has do does or did we remove them in the sentence in the report we don't put do does did so we remove do because it's it is not from the original sentence okay now let's do exercise number one what has it done to help you number two i ask what it has done to help them you it becomes them in reported speech the what word wh word we keep it we don't change it it has what has it it becomes what it has three how do you feel he wants to find out how they feel you it becomes as the for to group number five where were you nervous before that number six i asked if she was nervous before that here we have yes no question number seven also yes no question do you get worried she asked whether they get worried now look at the examples again and take the best way to complete the statement number one when we report wh questions the word order usually changes for example in one and two what has it done it changes to a question for or a statement for i ask that it has done yes it changes to a statement for we don't keep it as a question we change it to a statement not a question now so when we report this is number one direct question okay but here number two we change it it becomes indirect question not direct it is indirect number two when we report yes no question the word order also changes for example in five and six were you nervous changes to question form or statement form i ask if she was nervous yes it becomes statement form number three in reported yes no question we can follow the reporting verb with the word if or whether as an example six so what do we use in example six if or whether yes we use f and number four in reporting reported yes no question we can also follow the reporting verb with the word if or whether as in eight so what do we use in eight if or whether yes we use whether number five as with other reported questions the sentence ends with full stop or we keep it with a question mark yes we bought full stop now let's come to exercise two walk in bears put these wh questions into reported speech for number one when can you take care they are asking so you want to put they are asking at the beginning they are asking the word wh word we keep it as it is and then we can change the verb they are asking when i can take care number two how soon 
Can you have your mom's bed? They are asking. They are asking how soon they can have they how soon they can have mom's bed or her mom's bed. Number three. Now look at page sixty-four to check your answer to check your word. Number three. How do you feel now? I ask Mrs. Masri. So I ask Mrs. Masri how she how she feels now or we can say how she is feeling now number four what are you doing to call the babies what are you going to call the babies i ask the ramal family so i ask the ramal family what they are going to call the baby number five when did you have your terrible accident? I ask Osama Yusufi. I ask Osama Yusufi when he had his terrible accident. Now, let's take exercise number three. In exercise number three, walking bears report jabbers questions. Here we have Dr. Jabber and we have the people as well. Dr. Jabber has called Jinan to say that he has found some patients for her. Now he is asking about her and her grandparents. Jinan uh, is reporting to her, grand her grandparents. One. Is this your first visit to Palestine? He's asking if this is her first visit to Palestine or my first visit to Palestine. Because he is asking to her and she speaks to her grandparents and she says, yeah, the doctor says that this is my first visit to Palestine, is it? If this is my first visit to Palestine. Number two, have you been here for very long? whether so we need to use whether not if he wants to know whether whether i have been here for a long time for a very long number three are you planning to stay in palestine all summer so he is speaking or he is asking if i am planning to stay in palestine all summer number four are you going to write about other things in Palestine? Yes, he is asking whether I am going to write about other things in Palestine. Number five, does your grandmother still make her wonderful maftool? Mm -hmm. He's asking or he asks if my grandmother still makes her wonderful maftool. Number six, have they ever visited you and your family in London? He wants to know whether they have visited me and my family in London. Number seven, would all of you like to come to eat with my family? So he he wants to know if all of us if all of you if all of us would like to come to eat with his family. Number eight, will you be free to come for dinner next Friday evening? So number eight, he wants to know whether we will be free to come for dinner next Friday evening. Now let's have period number nine. Period number one nine we have three pictures. Okay. The first one is Julie Marsh. Number two we have this is Jinan and the last we have Dr. Jaber. Here Gina, Julie Marsh is talking to Jinan and Jinan is reporting to Dr. Jaber after that.
this is page 72 let's do it please your hospital story is in the new magazine say she says my hus my hospital story is the new in the new ma magazine I think number two I think our readers will be very interested in it we can say she thinks that their readers will be very interested in it have you planned your next piece yet she's she wants to know if I have planned my next piece yet and number four could you write some more about Osama Yusufi she wants me to write more about Yusuf Osama Yusufi number five did you talk to any more people at the hospital she asks or she is asking she asks if I talked to any more people at the hospital number six could dr. Jabber help find more patients for you to meet she would like you or she would like dr. Jabber or she would like you dr. Jabber to find more patients for her to meet or for me to meet number seven could you send us photos of the patients next time could you send us photos of the patient next time she asks if she asked her to send them photos of patients next time number eight how soon can you send us your next piece she asks how soon I can send them my next piece nine are you going to write about other things in Palestine she wants to know if I am going to write about other things in Palestine and the last one what else are you planning to write about while you are there she asks she asks what else I am planning to write about while I am there that's all for today everyone have a nice day good luck and bye bye